Hi dear aspirants, welcome to Wisdom IAS Academy. This is K. Hidayatullah, Faculty of Science and Technology and General Science. We know it very well, in most of the competitive examinations, we have general studies paper. In this general studies, we have general science. In general science, we have three subjects like uh, physics, chemistry and uh, biology. In this class, I would like to discuss about biology. This biology plays very important role in most of the competitive examinations, including UPSC, SSC, RRB, and other state public service commission examinations. So this biology plays very important role. Here, first of all, I would like to discuss the syllabus included in this biology. Let us have a brief look on this syllabus of this biology. So in this biology, we have introduction to biology. So in this introduction part, I would like to discuss what is biology, origin of biology, what is the scope and importance of biology. And here, biology means, biology means the study of life, study of living beings. So how the living organisms have been evolved from the simple organisms in this uh, the, all this can be discussed in the introduction part and then classification of living world. So actually what is the difference between a living organism and a non living thing. So these living organisms undergoes various life activities like growth, development, locomotion, reproduction, response to external stimulus. All these are the characteristic features of the living organisms. There is a lot of diversity in these organisms and how these organisms have been classified. Here classification means grouping of organisms based on their closely related characteristic features. So broadly the organisms have been classified into plants and animals, plants and animals. And apart from these plants and animals, there are different kinds of organisms which are not visible to our naked eye, they are called as microorganisms. And how these organisms have been classified, all this can be discussed in the classification part. I already told you, living organisms have been broadly classified into plants and animals. In this zoology part, in the third chapter, zoology part, we will discuss about the animals. Here, zoology means the study of animals. In this zoology part, we would like to discuss the classification of animals. So how the animals have been grouped. So based on the presence or absence of vertebral column, that is based on the presence or absence of backbone, the animals have been classified into two categories. They are non-chordates and chordates, non-chordates and chordates. Here non-chordates means they does not have backbone. Again the non chordates have been classified into different phyla like protozoa, porifera, silentirata, platyhelminthes, nematyhelminthes, annelida, arthropoda, mollusca and echinodermata. So like that these non chordates have been classified into different phyla. Then chordata, in these chordates the animals which have backbone are included. These non these chordates are again divided into different categories like eurochordata, cephalochordata, vertebrata. Again, vertebrata is classified into anatha, nathostomata. Again, different classes like pisces, amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals. So, like that, the animals have been classified. So, all this can be discussed in the classification of the animals. And the next chapter in this zoology part is animal physiology. Here physiology means the study of metabolism. So this is in this physiology part we have various types of organ systems starting from nutrition. What is meant by nutrition? Nutrition means simply intake of nutrients. What type of nutrients we are intaking? So first of all what are nutrients? The substances which are required for growth, development and energy production. They are called as nutrients. And what type of nutrients we are intaking? and how these nutrients have been classified. This can be discussed in this nutrition topic. And the, the second one is digestive system. Here in this digestive system, we would like to discuss the anatomy of digestive system. 
what are the structures involved the structures present in the digestive system and the process of digestion here digestion means the conversion of complex food substances into the simple forms this can be discussed in the digestive system and respiratory system here anatomy of respiration then physiology of respiration can be discussed that is the structure of lungs everything can be discussed here then circulatory system it is also called as blood vascular system or it is also called as transport system for the transportation of various substances in our body including nutrition uh, nutrients various types of hormones and waste products formed during metabolism that can be transported through this uh, circulatory system or transport system and then excretory system here in the excretory system the physiology of excretion anatomy of excretory system can be discussed nervous system endocrine system reproductive system skeletal system sense organ like that these type of organ systems can be discussed in the animal physiology part and then the botany part botany means the study of plants the study of plants is called as a botany in this botany the sub topic is classification of plants how the plants have been classified based on the flowering property the plants have been classified into two categories they are non flowering plants and flowering plants see here non flowering plants means these are called cryptogams and flowering plants means phanerogams again cryptogams have been classified into thallophyta bryophyta and pteridophyta and flowering plants are classified into gymnosperms and angiosperms again angiosperms are divided into monocots and dicots so in this classification part various categories of plants can be discussed and then the plant morphology here morphology means the study of external features the study of external features of the plants like root shoot the uh, leaves flowers or fruits can be discussed and then in the plant physiology part here unlike animals the plants also undergoes metabolism so the major metabolic activities occurring in the plants like uh, photosynthesis transpiration phytohormones and excretion in the plants can be discussed in this uh, plant physiology part so botany means the study of plants here in this botany part we will discuss classification of the plants plant morphology and plant physiology then the fifth unit is the cell biology so in this cell biology would like to discuss what is cell so we know it very well cell is the basic structural and functional unit of any living organisms and then structural organization of the cell can be discussed that is ultra structure of the cell then types of cells like prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cells so what is meant by prokaryotic cell and what is meant by eukaryotic cell their structures can be discussed and finally in the cell biology part the cell division very important topic what is the purpose of cell division the cell division is mainly meant for growth and development and also reproduction for continuation of genetic nature of the organism continuation of race we require cell division what type of cell divisions are there they are mitosis and meiosis mitosis and meiosis what is the importance of mitosis what is the importance of meiosis can be discussed in the cell division topic so then genetics so what is meant by genetics so genetics is the study of heredity genetics is the study study of heredity and variations variations so what is meant by heredity the transmission of characters from parents to children the transmission of characters from one generation to next generation that is called as heredity and variations mean the differences among the individuals of a particular species or the differences between one generation and next generation they are called as variations then what are responsible for these heredity and variations so what are what type of chromosomes are there what is the number of chromosomes in human beings and how these chromosomes are responsible for this heredity and variations all these can be discussed in the genetics part then evolution evolution means change unroll unfolding or descent with modifications and how these complex organisms have been evolved from the very simple primitive organisms 
what type of theories are they in the evolution so which theories explain the process of evolution what are the evidences of this evolution all this can be discussed in the evolution topic then pathology pathology means the study of diseases the study of diseases what is meant by disease what are the causative factors for these diseases so the factors responsible for these diseases can be divided into external factors and internal factors means extrinsic factors and intrinsic factors are there so then what type of diseases are there the diseases can be classified into congenital diseases and acquired diseases what is meant by congenital disease the disease which occurs from birth that is called as congenital disease acquired diseases the diseases which occurs after birth again the acquired diseases are classified into two types communicable diseases and non communicable diseases so what are communicable what are non communicable diseases then what is endemic disease epidemic pandemic and sporadic diseases so that is based on the mode of spreading the diseases can be classified into these categories then what are the pathogens responsible for the diseases like bacteria viruses protozoans fungus different categories of diseases caused by bacteria virus this can be discussed in this uh, pathology part then biotechnology so this biotechnology it is an applied branch it is an applied branch of biology we can say so this biotechnology is an applied branch of biology in which various types of living organisms can be utilized to produce various valuable products by using sophisticated techniques or sophisticated equipments and how these organisms can be utilized that can be discussed in this biotechnology part what type of techniques have been involved and what are the applications of this biotechnology in different fields like uh, the applications of biotechnology in medicine the applications of biotechnology in agriculture industry and also in environmental cleanup process this can be discussed in this biotechnology part that is applications of biotechnology in medicine like various types of techniques have been involved the biotechnology is used to produce vaccines interferons monoclonal antibodies stem cell therapy cloning ivf technology and also dna fingerprinting process then applications of biotechnology in agriculture like biotechnology involved in the production of gm crops genetically modified crops bio fertilizers bio pesticides all these topics can be discussed in this uh, biotechnology part so this is the syllabus prescribed for most of the competitive examinations so in the next class would like to discuss each and every topic thank you